Aha. Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. Sunday. It is Sunday. That is correct. Come on, show them your hair. Do you remember a few months ago who was crying about how it was cut really short? Yeah, now it looks like this. Yeah, that is actually outrageous. This is my life now. You've only got a few days left. No, tomorrow. You can go tomorrow. It's the thing is, the worst thing is, is because it was cut badly last time, it's now grown out and badly, it's just yeah. multiplied how bad it is. Because normally, like, oh, just... So hopefully the next vlog you see him in, he'll have nice hair, but today... You're going to be wearing a hat. Yeah, I enjoy wearing a hat anyway, but like I don't enjoy having to wear a hat. Well, especially not when we're at home and like chilling. No. But anyway. Anyway. Benji's off to play golf this morning. I'm well, not you're not? I was going to be, but my mate didn't get back to me in the end, so. Oh, but you're going to the driving range now? Possibly. Am I going now? I thought we were going for a walk. Oh, I thought you, want, I thought you were doing golf first. No, I, I kind of was, and then now it's 11 o'clock. It's like, well, I might as well just go for a walk. Okay, we can do the walk first yeah. if you want. We're so organised. No, we're not. I'm working around you today. So I was going to go to Boots this morning and I was going to make our gammon. We need to do that this morning because it takes six hours to cook. We need oh, to leave okay. it on while we're out. Right, I'll go to the driving range. If I, if no. You, no, if you're forcing no, 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 no. If you're no. Me, you're the driving no, no, no. No, no. We've made this before on the vlog, but we haven't had it for a while. So we're going to have catfire stew today, which is from the Pinch of Non recipe book that looks like this. I'll leave it linked for you. Amazing book. We've made so many great things from this. I think just because it's so simple um, and tastes so good. So we like that. That's that. Stick it on and leave it as well. It's the side That's the slow cooker one, yeah. So you can actually make this in loads of different ways, but we're gonna do it in the slow cooker because it tastes amazing. And then I actually bought this one recently, which is the quick and easy one. Um, and I haven't actually had a look through this properly oh, yet. I know, right? I know we're going into like summer, but. Like me mother used to make. <laughs> look at this. So many good recipes and just so easy to follow. They have most of them on their website if you don't want to buy the book, but I just find it so much easier um, yeah, to use the book. And yeah, and scrolling them. loads. Oh, look at that. Chicken and pineapple stir fry. Nice. I like that a lot. I've got this brand new top on from M&S. Really cute little outfit. Hang on, I'm gonna try and show you my leggings. Love these, the matching top, but I stupidly have splashed some of the spices. Bit of Worcester sauce. Bit of Worcester sauce, sauce smell, and spices. Oh well, I've done the spices and the gammon, and it's just warming up. So I'm just gonna try and tidy up, empty the dishwasher, and then we'll be good to go. Dump it straight in. Get it in there. Um, mushrooms? Yeah. Carrots and celery. So mushroom for any carrots and celery. <laughs> Alrighty, here's the before. All our veg, all our spices, the gammons in the bottom, and about halfway through. I mean, we are gonna go for a long walk, so might not meet it halfway, but at least towards the end, I'll take out the gammon and I'll shred it and then do another hour on it, but. We could use these for casserole. What, corn sausages? We like them, don't we? I'm just making up a um, sandwich. <laughs> We're making up our sandwiches, but yeah, right, that's done. Got our lunches packed. This is Benji's sandwiches, crisps. We've got some pink and whites. And then here's mine. I've got some crisps and sandwiches and some little chocolate coated raisins and grapes. And we also have some coleslaw. So we've got a nice little picnic. So we actually did. Uh, a little walk and a picnic last weekend. I shared it on Instagram and we said that we'd film it for you this weekend. And I didn't really want to pack a heavy picnic blanket. So I just packed one of these, um, what are they called? What's the brand? Duck and Bay, Dry and Bay. Oh, I love them. Dock and Bay. <laughs> Dock and Bay towels. Now this one does have a little, hello darling, has a little pouch. So I'm just going to fold it back up put it in the pouch, and then if it's dirty, go back in the pouch. Hey, hey, we need to pack some stuff for you in the car as well, because you got wet last time. You did. Look at this toy. Look what you've done to it. <laughs> right, okay, I think, we're, I think we're nearly there. Right, mask, wet wipes, anti-back, important. Ben, do you want to put some sun cream on your face? 100 IQ. 
glass. Put some massive ice cubes in there. Massive. We have to go in my whiskey glass. Now this is where I would peak now. I don't use it for whiskey anymore. I go use it for long country walks. <laughs> yeah. So, Wash your hands and then pop them. Bye bye twenties and no thirties. I don't really want to carry SPF if I can help it. So I've grown quite fondly to a bum bag for walking Bonnie because I can have treats and poo bags there and then my phone fits in the front. This is actually by Solo, which is um, Backpacking Bananas, Christiane's business. I have a few items from her stuff now. I actually do have a Mickey Mouse one from Primark as well, but this fits more stuff in it. It's actually got a secret little pouch on the back too. If I want my phone to be more protected, I can put it in there. Um, and then I'm just packing up a little water bowl, collapsible one. This is brilliant for dog walks of Bonnie. This was given to us from Wild and Woofy. Um, you can hang it onto stuff if you want, but I'm going to pop that in. And then I've got another water bottle for water just for her. So we're getting there. So if you watched my favourite staycations video, you'll know that we've booked Plymouth and Arundel. 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 Aron. 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 Um, not the land in Frozen. As everyone I'm glad you clarified that. Pointed out to Otherwise me. Otherwise people were, probably would have got confused. <laughs> uh, and then we also have booked to go to Wales. We found an amazing house for a really good price. And I honestly, people ask me like, how do you find these really good places? I just spent hours on Airbnb, don't I? Just hours. Dreaming. Well, we sort of like had a place in mind roughly. And I just sort of kept changing the dates and figuring things out. And um, as we're not looking at going abroad this summer, we thought, Let's just get loads of UK breaks in that we can take Bonnie on. So, yeah, we put that in. It's near a town called Hay on White, Hay on White which else. is like a little book town. And I've been there a couple of times because um, we used to stay at a campsite near there, near Brecon Beacons. And um, it's such a quaint little town. So, yeah, that's so the plan. If you live there or you've been near there, then do let us know recommendations because so many people gave us amazing recommendations mm. in the last video. And and I've been putting together a bit of a plan. So yeah, so all these little trips we're doing at, at home locally at the moment um, has just got me so excited for when we actually pack to stay away. Um, but yeah, today we are heading to Wimborne, which is not far. I've been going there quite a lot recently. There's loads of lovely long walks and there's one particular walk that we love called the Castle Man Trailway. Uh, if you're local, I'll leave the link that we use below which has got the big map on it. It's the old train line from the docks in Paul to Southampton or to Ringwood or that, out that out, way. Out, yeah. Um, and obviously, it's, so because of that, it's like a nice straight mm -hmm. road, basically. We love that. So it's just easy to have Bonnie as well because if we're in forests, we don't ever want to obviously lose her. So she can run quite freely yeah. in open land on this walk, which we really like. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so this is the start of our walk. We parked at the, well, hang on, it's just there, there's the car park. That's the Wimborne Market and the Scout Hut if you're local. So this is where we start the walk. And we're hoping that if the weather stays nice and you know, we can build up our fitness levels and we can go for longer some weekends. It's lovely because it's just right by a river and Bonnie obviously gets quite warm as the weather gets nicer and she's not a huge fan of water or swimming. But last weekend she did paddle and do a little bit of swimming in the really shallow nice water, didn't she? Oh look, they've got a, um, I don't know if you can see down there, kayak with a dog in it. Oh, I want to do that with Bonnie. One of my things I want to do this year is I want to get us in our paddle boards because my mum has paddle boards. So here we go. It's like a little pontoon where people launch, launch off and they're in a... Look, look at the little dog in the front. And then this is the view. So we start in this park-looking path. Is there really and nice, then it like, goes... a new build estate here as well? Yeah, yeah loads of nice houses. Lovely, yeah. yeah. And then we'll go into a field in a bit. It's 12.27 as we're starting. So far today I've done two and a half thousand steps, so we're going to aim to get to at least ten. So this is the next part of the walk. Bonnie's off the lead. Still got the river to our right. Yeah. And a nice, really open field. Yeah, so she can just run and we can walk on this path. We're playing a game called the alphabet game, and we think of a topic, and then we go through the rest of the alphabet, and each person has to think of something. So, for example, fruits or car brands, but at the moment we're doing clothing so you companies. Said, you said Adidas. And I said another one. I can't or like ASOS or whatever. And what are we on? At the moment, N. Oh, I just did New Balance. Yeah, so, oh, I said Osprey. Oh, 
I get a little bit stuck sometimes. Let me have a thing, let me have a thing. We took some pictures here last week. Thought I'd show you. Oh, there's a rope swing. I would not want to jump in there though. Yeah. Would you? Yeah. Look how lush it is. From Camford School. Through there? Yeah. Wow, it's it stunning. To be old Lady Wimborne's house. But then I assume she sold it or the school took over it. But, um, it's, it's, like <laughs> it's like Hogwarts, it's massive. Amazing. We've been if there, haven't got, we? If you've got a spare nine grand per time, you can send your kids there. Woo! Wow. Oh, Arthur Rolex, yeah. Uh, and I had Arthur Roxy. Uh, uh, super dry. Um. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to show you where we had our picnic last weekend. Okay, so this is where we had our picnic last time. Right here. We set it up and that was the view we had. It was absolutely gorgeous, wasn't it? I don't know if the tadpoles are just little fish, but... I don't know if the camera's showing them, but yeah, I can see them. I feel like the tadpoles. This is stunning. Here's the school that we were talking about earlier. It looks like a castle. Yeah. It does look like Hogwarts, I'm not going to lie. We're trying to find the exact place that we let Bonnie have a little walk. A little walk? A little swim, sorry. Because she's not a huge fan of water, we do have to like encourage her gently. But this is a perfect little swimming spot. Oh god, that was more muddy than I thought. Oh god. <laughs> Go on in. Good oh. girl. Oh look, she's trying to get the stick. Oh, not quite. Good girl, Bonnie. Good girl. Good girl, go on in. Oh, good girl, Bonnie. <laughs> Look at her swim. Not quite, not quite. Good girl. Oh, lovely. Good girl, go get it. Good girl. Oh, there she is. There she's swimming. Good girl, Bonnie! <laughs> oh, what a good girl! <laughs> there we go, now she's nice and cool. The key to all walks is feeding me. Snacks, there you go. Sausage snacks. Mm -mm. <laughs> Not a chance. <laughs> so we've been 50 minutes and this is the point that we turned around last time because we got to this sort of road area. When the pubs open fully in May, I know that beer gardens will open, um, but there's a pub just down there. So we know that we can stop and have lunch if we don't want to carry a picnic, which would be nice. Have a cider in the sun. But I think it's left, left, past the pub. Oh look, there's a sign up there. So the little green and yellow circles that say Castleman Trailway, that's what we're going for basically so we're just following the east sign yeah yeah all righty not a huge fan of these clouds can't lie it's just suddenly <laughs> oh no are we gonna get caught do you reckon so we're like exactly halfway just under halfway, halfway. Down, so. we need to potentially find like a cute spot we can sit then or be in some shelter if it does <laughs> it's just fields from Oh no. Seriously, I think it's snow, you know. It is, look, look, look. look, look, finger, look. What the heck? Why what? Is it snow? Look. <laughs> oh my god, look at it on Bonnie. We're in Bournemouth. <laughs> like, it doesn't what? Snow this is ridiculous. Oh my god. Wow, okay. We wouldn't have come out if we'd known we were going to get snowed on. So we decided to eat our lunch in the rain as so we were walking. Soggy bagel. Mm. Because we were hungry and we figured, well, we're not gonna sit down anywhere now, are we? That was, um, that was grim, wasn't That it? was quite grim. Our hands were like freezing <laughs> and I've got a blister. <laughs> but the sun is starting to come back out again. Hmm. <laughs> Only an right hour to go. It would have been right if we would have like prepared for snow. Rain. <laughs> yeah. Like, but uh, that was so random. We left and it was like 16 degrees, nice and sunny. Mad. We didn't pack a coat. Also, I used to own walking boots and I don't know where they are. I really need them now if we're doing long walks like this because these are sort of my gym working out trainers. I just want you all to know that this is not the walk we had planned. It's happened again. 
Man. Yeah. <laughs> right, I've got a suntan lotion on. <laughs> you put ice it's in it. It's a good job I put ice in our water bottle, wasn't it? Yeah. Don't want to get it cold. <laughs> So cold. I actually had a good time. Same. Same. Despite getting soaked. I think we'll be going to Cotswolds or Mountain Warehouse at some point if we're going to be doing more of these walks. Yeah, I think we need to be more prepared with like rain coats, better walking boots that are waterproof, better socks. Because both of us are wearing fly nets, so our feet. Are yeah, they're just not good shoes. Just trainers. And Bonnie, bless her, we've we've tried to warm her up as much as possible and wrapped her in a little towel, haven't we? <laughs> but I think she had fun, and that's what's important. Yeah. Everyone had a good walk, and we were two hours in the end and eleven thousand steps. Yeah, just over. So not bad. So now home for a hot bath, yes. cup of tea, yes. afternoon snack, movie, snuggle. Okay. So keen. Right, we're home. My legs are bright red from freezing cold, wet. Um, and Benji's just running a bath. So we're both gonna have a nice bath together. Yeah, light, light a couple of Adam's candles. That's <laughs> Adam's candles. We've got Pepsi Max. Put a wash on, brought a clean one up. Because I'm doing the bedding today, obviously. Sunday, end of the week. And it's now 20 to three, so gonna go and walk look at my legs like, you know when you when we're skiing and we sit down and we take our jackets off and you're just in like a t-shirt i swear it's not as cold then as what it felt like today <laughs> yeah, like, i know it sounds ridiculous no but i I'm on, I'm on the same page as you i just want you all to know that this is just a small area of our house um we seem to have four toys the arm of a monkey um a blanket <laughs> And all the fluff all over the carpet needs to hoover. Yes, I know. Would you like to sit on the sofa with me and have a cuddle? This is my current view. We've got Xbox. He's chatting away. Football. <laughs> Candle. Pepsi. All my birthday cards need to come down. My game. Oh. She's woken up because she can hear me talking. She's just waiting for permission. Oh, she's gone over to Bendish to try and have a cuddle now. I'm not paying you enough attention. <laughs> she's all cosy up now. Probably go to sleep there. Okay, so I thought I'd show you. It's now half past five, and I think the dinner's pretty much ready. Oh, Bendish's still chatting on the Xbox. This is going to taste incredible. And then we just have it either on its own or with a bit of rice. And there we go. That's what it looks like served up. A bit of rice. <sighs> Beautiful. Kitchen is tidy, dishwasher is on, leftovers are just cooling. I thought I'd fit it all in one tub, but no, nope, we've got a lot more than I thought. So I might actually freeze some because we didn't actually plan to have so much leftovers. So I've been trying to find my walking boots in, for ages. Benji's dad checked the loft and we checked our loft today and then i had a brainwave and realized the only other place they could be is in the cupboard under the stairs because that's where we keep the welly boots and anything outdoorsy and you know buckets and whatever anyway good news is i found more walking boots and i looked online they are 150 pound actually 200 pound at the moment but they're down to 150 um, I don't remember paying that much for them because they're at least five or six years old now but they're still in pretty good condition and obviously I've worn them in and that's like the key so yeah next time we go on a nice long dog walk I'll be wearing these bad boys so I'm not gonna lose them now I know I have them I've saved myself 150 quid I'm just making myself a Yorkshire tea bedtime decaf because I don't like to have caffeine before bedtime ish I mean it's half seven I think yeah it's half past seven so we've got line of duty at nine o'clock I'm just boiling the kettle and I did talk about this on Instagram but I was kindly sent this eye kettle um, from a company called Smarter I know it's really noisy right now but it's actually a Bluetooth kettle and you can boil it from 
another room and <laughs> saves you getting up and waiting. Like I boil it in the morning when I'm brushing my teeth and getting ready and then come down and it's done. This show is so good. If you haven't watched Line of Duty already, you must. We love it. Although I do wish it wasn't on a Sunday night. Yeah. It gets a bit late, doesn't it, for us? A bit late for us. For us nanas, yeah. Today was just really lovely. Dinner was nice, walk was nice. Just a really nice day, and tomorrow is a fresh new week. Shops reopen, which is great and exciting. Um, what else is happening? I'm around for a few evenings. You are around for a few evenings, which will be nice. Because you've been working away mm. so much. Yeah. So we're going to have some nice dinners together. Subscribe to this channel if you're not already, because that would be fab. Stick around, we do lots of travels and home and shops and hauls and vlogs and all sorts here. So please subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you again in the next one, whenever that may be. <laughs> Bye!